I've had jet fuel in my guest room for the last seven months, and it's time to see what kind of friends we grew in it. This jar started out as clean jet fuel and clean water, and now it's got these dirty bubbles in it and these little blobs that just kind of float around. I have no idea what they are, but they seem friendly. I reserve jet fuel in the eyes for special occasions, so I put on some protection before committing science. This neat little kit tests jet fuel or diesel for contamination. I started by swirling around the jet fuel and water, and then I cleaned all the instruments with the provided alcohol wipe. I then used a syringe to pull from the water side, as recommended by the instructions. This is the closest experience to being Walter White that I've ever had that I can talk about. I then put the sample into this special bottle with blue liquid and held it at 45 degrees before dropping four drops onto a towel. Finally, I dropped four drops into each hole on the sample plate, and then I waited for about 15 minutes. I used this super cool app that comes with the fuel stat test that scans the plate and tells you the results. Shockingly, it came back as all clear for bacteria and fungi. I guess it just needs to age a bit longer.